Hello guys and welcome back to another Bible study video. Today we are going to be starting to talk about New Year's resolutions because when you're seeing this video, New Year's is right around the corner. So this video, I want to start talking about New Year's resolutions. Specifically, I want to give people a little bit of hope through some Bible verses that I've found to help you feel motivated for whatever your New Year's resolution is. And then next week, I want to talk about a few New Year's resolutions that I'm making as a Christian, specifically in that category, because obviously I'm making other goals in life, but specifically goals that are centered around the Bible and God and stuff like that. This video isn't going to be your typical, like, how to make New Year's resolutions video or how to not fail at your New Year's resolution videos. Those always kind of sit you down. They're like, this is the re these are the reasons that you'll fail. These are the reasons that you'll be as successful as you need to be, whatever that is. The purpose of this video is just to give you hope through the Bible that no matter what goals you set or resolutions you set through God, they can happen. The first thing that I always do when I'm setting New Year's resolutions is in a way to be successful is to reflect on the year and the Bible actually touches on that. Isaiah 43 verse 18 through 19 it says but forget all that it is nothing compared to what I am going to do and to me you can take that in multiple ways but to me when you think about it in the context of New Year's resolutions to me it means forget about what happened in the past forget about all of these reasons maybe in the past that those goals haven't worked or that Forget about that little voice in the back of your head that's saying that you can't do it. But it says, for free, but forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I am going to do. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Obviously, that is God speaking. And he's telling us that forget whatever the negative things are that are holding you back from really believing in yourselves and whatever these goals are and see that he already has this amazing plan for you for 2024 and he already wants to do good for you he wants to make a pathway like he says for us to be successful in whatever that goal or resolution is and I think that's the first step is we have to find comfort in that that God really is looking out for us I know we have hard times and I know this doesn't mean that 2024 isn't going to come with some really hard times that are going to be really hard to get through but he is looking out for us and the good of us and everything he does is the good for us even if we can't always see that in the moment eventually God gives us peace even if he doesn't give us an answer about those things and the last thing I want to point out in that verse is where it says he says see I have already begun I think that's important too because a lot of us think that with New Year's resolutions you've got to make it on the 1st of January and you've got to stick through it and if you fail it's over but God says he's already begun even now with those plans and we can't just dismiss it because we fail at this moment he is constantly doing things for us he's already began that plan so just because you might stumble or fall or slip up or fail at that resolution that doesn't mean you have to give up because he's already begun and he's already making that path for you the next verse I want to look at is Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for I know the plans I have for you says the Lord they are plans for good not for dis and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope first of all God already knows the plan he has he has for us he already knows all the good that he's gonna put in our lives and he knows how we're gonna get there the stumbles the highs the lows he already knows that that's already in his plan for us but the second part is what I want to touch on and talk about a little bit more where it says there are plans for good not for disaster to give you a future of hope that's just reaffirming that God has these plans and they're all for good he says they're not for disaster and to me that doesn't mean that there's not gonna be any bad there's not that doesn't mean there's not gonna be any bad like I said in 2024 but when he says disaster there I feel like he means there's not gonna be a disaster where that's the end and there's no more coming back from that because the whole story of God and having a relationship with 
God is that you're redeemed. So you might hit this low point or this point that feels like a disaster or it's a really hard time or you're really struggling with your New Year's resolution or you're having a lot of self-confidence issues when it has to do with your New Year's resolution, but he says there's no disaster. So like, even though you hit that low, that isn't the end. It doesn't have to be the end. It's only at the end if you decide it's the end. Because in his plan, he says he doesn't have any disasters. He doesn't have that final end. You can continue going on with whatever it is that you have or whatever plan you have or whatever resolution you have. And you can be successful through that through him because his plan is for good and it's not for disaster. In the next part, I'm gonna continue on that. So again, in Jeremiah 29, verses 12 through 13, and this is gonna be the last verse that I leave off on because this can kind of give us the first step into what we need to do. So it says, in those days when you pray, I will listen. And again, this is God talking. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I wanted to leave on that because you know me, I like to, at the end of every Bible study, I like to have a tangible sort of like action that I can do to start working towards these goals because I'm not the type of person that if somebody tells me to go do something um, and it's very abstract, like, oh, you just need to trust more. Or you need to have hope more. I need something tangible to help me work on that skill every single day. And here, God is saying to pray. He says, in those days when you pray, whether it be about your resolution, a goal you have, your vision for 2024, he says he will listen. And duh, I should know that. But I know sometimes it feels like God doesn't listen to us because he doesn't always answer our prayers either in the time we think or he doesn't answer them at all because normally he has a better plan for us, but at the time we don't know that. But he says, in those days if we pray, he is going to listen. And if we look for him, wholeheartedly so that is, means if we are searching for God for a relationship with him wholeheartedly giving our full selves to try and work on that relationship that will find him and that is beautiful I don't know how else to put that he's literally telling us here that whatever your goals are whatever your hopes are whatever your dreams are whatever it is about this next year that you are wondering about or hoping for all you have to do is pray for it he'll listen and then if you continue to search him wholeheartedly as much as you can every day of your life every moment of your life then you'll find him and when you find him you will maybe not necessarily fulfill your New Year's resolution in that moment it will make it easier for you to find that pathway that God has paved for us that we talked about earlier to be successful in that New Year's resolution. As you are continuing the next few days to figure out what those New Year's resolutions are gonna be, I'm slowly figuring out and honing in and picking a few specific things that I wanna focus on this year. I hope that this video gives you a little bit of hope and a little bit of faith that no matter what your goal is, no matter how crazy it might seem, no matter how much the voice in the back of your head says you can't do it. I hope that through these verses, you're able to see that God has this amazing plan for you. It's already set, he's already started on it, and through him, through prayer, through searching for him, you'll be successful in that goal. I can't wait to see you guys next week. I'm excited to talk about my goals and see if anybody else's goals like kind of overlap for the 2024 year i'll probably be talking about more personal new year's resolution goals in a different video not a bible study video so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe and you have your bell notifications on if you like this video and it gave you hope please give it a thumbs up if you have any video suggestions for the 2024 year we're going to continue doing it once a week every thursday at three o'clock um, please let me know in the comments below i'm open to suggestions i'm open to you guys giving me a topic and me diving into the bible and finding some verses to dig through and pick apart and look at and talk about that topic so just let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas and i will see you in the next one bye